Welcome to Soho. This is somewhere that we come to every now and again. Yeah. And uh, we have been coming here for years. I've been coming here certainly since I moved to London in, when was that? 1998? I think I've been coming here since about 2000-ish. And it's where all the pubs and restaurants are. Um, so if you're wanting a night out, this is the place to come. Let's take a little look. Look, behind you is Splash Soho. I used to get my hair cut there. Well, who does it these days? You do. It's cheaper too. Prowler, Paul. This is where we would have picked up all our magazines, which no longer exist. Um, but it's still a good place to come in for a card or if you're looking for some kinky underwear. Well, this may have been a bit of a dark alley, but it does lead out to the main drag. Uh, no pun intended. But in front of us, that is Old Compton Street. The Duke of Wellington is one of Soho's most famous and one of its oldest boozers. What are you looking at, Paul? I got this one in Ireland, Red Breast. Oh! Uh, Is it more expensive here? Haven't heard of this one. Yes. Ah, tailing. Yes. I can remember coming to Poppy's. It's a fish and chip place, but it does an absolutely fabulous battered sausage. And next door is the famous Compton's. It's one of Soho's oldest and most popular gay boozers. Um, it's one of the frantic pubs right here on Old Compton Street. You can't beat the Admiral Duncan. Um, it's one of the friendliest pubs right here on Old Compton Street. Flying the rainbow flag. Anyone for coffee? Oh, you can smell it. You know what? They do so many different coffees here. I remember having them grind it for me once. What, grinding on Old Compton Street? Wow. <laughs> Who'd have thunk it? And there's all these different types. Um, you can also go in and actually um, get a, a, a drink of coffee. Do you want one? Oh, I don't think I want one just right now, but just the smell of it alone is amazing. I think I need to go in to have a look to see what they have. No, that's that's all. What did you get? I got the Cafe Napoli. It was 250 grams for five pounds. Never bought it before. Um, I think it's always good to try it out. So let's see how it goes. Clones on, similar to Prowler, where you can get all your bits and pieces. Uh, we're going to go in and see if there are any magazines available. I think there's still some monthly ones printed. If you fancy one of the best pasta donata in town, then head over to Cafe Donata, the premium pastel donata emporium. Premium Portuguese custard tart. We first got them when we went to Porto 
and we can absolutely say these are the best ones in London. And finally in Soho, Little Q has become one of our favourite bars in the past few years. Uh, it says little on the outside, it's actually got an upstairs which is not that small. It's a great place just to hang out for a drink. Welcome to a very colourful Covent Garden. So what can we find in here, Paul? Lots of premier boutiques and independent shops. And lots of little cafes and restaurants as well. Let's take a look. Well, I certainly didn't expect to find a Morelli's in Covent Garden, all the way from Port Stewart. Must be a different branch of the family. One of the best days out in London on a sunny, or rainy day for that matter, is the London Transport Museum and you can buy an annual ticket which means you can go in as many times as you like and that is where we are going right now and that's where this segment of the show comes to an end bye bye for now bye, -bye. thank you very much for watching don't forget to subscribe like and comment bye for now Gone on holiday to Spain, having a coffee in your hotel room, but there's no milk? Then this could be the solution. This is Nestle, the Lajera original, and it is a condensed milk in a tube, perfect for coffee. So here we have a black coffee, and here we have one which we have already used some of the milk. So this is what we do. It's very sweet, so there's no need to add any extra sugar. Pour in a liberal amount. Put the lid back on. And then get stirring. And as if by magic, the colour changes and you have a lovely milky coffee. Mmm, delicious.
least I've got the passengers on this time. Well, that was quite a show. Not only did we take the tube into London, but I showed you how you can have milk in a tube, and I even drove a tube. Good, right, Paul? Yep. All right, we'll see you next time. Bye for now. Bye.